When you first sign in, you come to the dashboard and of course you see the navigation. Here, we've made it such that it's very fast and easy to access your most common actions right at your fingertips. So if you look at the top, you see these four icons. These are what we call quick actions. And they're your most frequent actions. They are different for each person because it's based on what you have permission to do. But for example, if you're a manager and you have reservation requests, uh, you need to manage reservations, you see this first icon called manage reservations, you click on that, just press it. You'll come to all these reservations that you have rights to view and take action on. And from here, you can look at reservations, you can select some and you can uh, approve them to get started or check out. From the bottom, I'm gonna go back to dashboard by clicking on the dashboard icon. Now, this next section you see that's called reviews needed is meant for supervisors or limited supervisors. And basically it's work pending on you. It's other people pending on you. For example, there might be reservation requests, check-in requests, work orders that uh, uh, need to be started and you have the power to start them. And um, it also is permission-based. So if you have permission to do only one or two of these things, that's all you'll see. Or if you're a full administrator, you'll see a list of things that are pending on you because of the rest of org gets approval through you. Of course, if you're staff, uh, you may not have any things and most likely you don't even see this section. So as an example, let's say, you know, you can look at check-in requests or you'll get uh, checked out items. Suppose you want to check in some items. Well, a natural place to start would be to go to the list of checked out items. And here you can see different items that have been checked out. Let's say you want to check in this bulldozer. You do this by actually long pressing. Let me show you again. You long press here and you can see it's selected. Now you're in select mode. What shows you that you're in select mode is a ribbon at the top that shows you the actions you can do on the item selected. From here, you can just tap to select because you're already in select mode. So for example, let's say I tap this drill machine. I've chosen two things that are checked out. And here I just say check in. See the action at the top? Check in right there. Takes me to the form and I can simply say, yes, I wanna check these two items in. And that's it. Now I come back to the dashboard. I'll click the dashboard icon. And that's this section called reviews needed. The next section you see it's called my assignments. It's for everyone, but really mostly it's for staff and employees. And you can almost call this my stuff. It includes your items, your reservations, your cards, verifications that you need to do because you're a staff, you need to verify uh, custody, work orders that are assigned to you. So as an example, I can click on my assets. You can see this is a listing of assets. Um, it's uh, my name here. So these are actually in my custody. And suppose I just wanna check them back in. So I might take this dump truck. Sorry, that was a single press, so it went to the detail page. But you know, if I do a long press, it selects it, I'm back in select mode. And I might also take this tripod. And I say I wanna check both of them in. Or, or I can unselect and just check in the dump truck. So I do that, click check in. And again, the primary action is at the bottom and I finish checking this in. And like I said, most people that are staff will not see the review section. They'll have the simple view of basically your stuff. Now let's go to the nav. At the top of this page, what you see is this search icon that we call global search. I'm gonna click on that. It pulls up global search and here you can search for anything. So let's say I search for backhoe pulls up everything that matches that. And I say, indeed, I would like this. So I, I select that by tapping it. And here I can simply say, you know, I'd like to check this out. I'll check it out to the college. I wanna check it out to myself, which is a default. I wouldn't have to check that normally. And I say, yes, check this out to me. And that's done and you can see the backhoe is now checked out. I'm gonna click the back button, I'm back in the dashboard. The other thing I wanna draw your attention to are the icons at the bottom. This is the bottom navigation. And you can see there's four icons here and a plus in the middle. 
The first icon is simply the dashboard. That's how you come back here. The next icon is item center. That's a new module. We innovated this for the mobile app. Basically any asset, asset stock, inventory, regardless of the item type, you can find them all here. You can search on them. You can select them. You can take actions on any of them from here. That's item center. On the other side of item center, you see scan center. And scan center allows you to scan any type of item and take any action. It's very powerful. We'll talk about that later. And of course, then you have the more menu and that takes you and shows you all your modules as well. Now, you also see this plus in the middle. That allows you to add things quickly on the fly. And if you don't have permission to add anything, like if you're a staff person, this would be grayed out. Thank you.